toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And Hello. Good morning. Wow. Look at this hair. What the heck is going on? Oh my god. I gotta fix it. I actually really need to go upstairs and get ready. Um, yesterday, actually, it's Friday. And this week has been one of the, like, shittiest weeks ever. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Like, it's literally been... A crazy, crazy, crazy week. So, let me go finish eating. Uh, let me give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, so, <laughs> so Monday I was getting ready. I was just finishing straightening up my hair in my guest bathroom. And all of a sudden, like, Landon, like, looked at me and started, like, gagging. And I was like, are you okay? <laughs> And then he like looked at me and then I like crouched down and I was like, are you okay? And then he hugged me and then I like pushed him like back a little bit because I thought he was going to puke because he gagged again. And then I stood up and I go, hold on. And I stood up and then before I could do anything, he just projectiled vomit everywhere. So I had to call out of work. It was literally like 10 o'clock. I had to go to work at 10.30. I was about to drop him off at the sitter's house. And yeah, he puked everywhere. So I called out. Um, he ended up being really like just out for the count all day. He was having like really bad diarrhea. He didn't puke anymore. Um, but he was just not eating. Like he was just, you could just tell he was sick. So I was home all day. Like whatever. Like he gets sick. It's fine. Tuesday rolls around. And... I go to work and I put Landon in the car. I he was feeling better, like he wasn't throwing up. He had like one diarrhea, but he slept fine, like he was like acting okay. So I was like, he should be fine to go to the sitter's house. I talked to her, she's like, Yeah, no, he should be fine. So I put him in the car, I'm getting ready to leave, and as soon as we get in the car and I'm trying to leave, my car won't start. Um so I was freaking out, I was having such a bad day, and I was like, great, day two of being a bad week already. So I texted my boss, and he seemed kind of like aggravated that like something was going on because like I had to call off the day before. Um, so I got in contact with Cameron. He called our neighbor over, and our neighbor ended up jumping my car. So I dropped Landon off, kept the car running, because I was like, I do not want this car to die again. Kept the car running. Landon bawled his eyes out when I left. He did not want me to leave, and I could tell, like, he just, he's been super attached to me since we came back from Rhode Island, and I don't know if it's, like, something he's going through, like, a separation thing, or if it's, like, because he hasn't been to the sitters in a while, or because he still wasn't really feeling great. I don't know what it was, but he was super attached to me, he was just bawling his eyes out, and it made me feel horrible that I had to drop him off and go to work when he just, all he really wanted to do, I bet if I stayed home, um... I bet if I stayed home Tuesday too, he probably would have just cuddled up to me all day and just relaxed. And I felt guilty that. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. And I felt guilty that like I couldn't give him that. So I went to work, whatever, doing my day. I just had an awful day. I felt like such a bad mom and I was feeling really guilty. And you know, sometimes you just have those days, right? You just feel guilty as a mom. Sorry, I'm really thirsty today. Um, so I'm at work, whatever. She said Landon was like not really being too talkative. Like he kind of just seemed like he was just like, like he was just playing, but he wasn't really like his normal self. And so she put him down for a nap. Um, he ended up sleeping really well. He took like two hour nap, and then she told me like, hey, like he's up. Did you want to come for his snack? And I was like, yeah. So I'm trying to get my car, take my lunch, to go be with him because like he's just up the street from me um, at the sitter's house. And I tried getting in my car, and my car wouldn't start. So I went back inside, and I was like, I looked at my boss. I go, never mind. Like my car's not starting again. Like 
whatever. And then my boss was like, here, just take my car. Like, it's fine. Like, go see Landon. Like, he knew Landon was still sick. So he's like, just go see Landon. So he let me take his car to go see Landon. So I went on my break, whatever. It was fine. I'm just having such a bad day. Like, I just felt like just awful. I was having a lot of pain um, starting like in my rib area. Like really, really, really bad. Um, and, you know, I just went to work. I went back to work. And I told Cameron, I was like, is there any way, like, you can, like, leave work a little bit early and, like, come jump my car so that way we could pick up Landon on time and everything. So, he ended up, like, actually, like, leaving work a little bit early. Not just because he left early, but just because, like, by the time he was able to leave. So, he jumped my car, we picked up Landon. Everything was fine and dandy. But then Cameron said his stomach hurt. And so, Cameron was like, oh, like, I really just don't feel good. Like, I feel sick. And I was like, mmm, like, weird. Like, Landon was just sick. Wednesday. We will wake up. Landon had an awful night of sleep. Um, we wake up and Cameron was like, I feel like crap. But Wednesday I actually had to go get my crown done on my tooth. I had a root canal done like while I was pregnant with Landon like almost two years ago. And I never got the crown put on. So I had to get the crown put on. So I did that. And it took a few hours and Cameron's like, when are you coming home? I feel like crap. And I was like, well, you need to suck it up because, like, I always feel like crap and I still have to take care of Landon. Um, so he was like, no, like, I really don't feel good. I feel like I'm going to get sick through both ends. And I was like, great. Like, fantastic. So Cameron ended up getting whatever Landon must have had because Cameron all day Wednesday was just out for the count. Both of them just weren't feeling that great. Landon was kind of just like, he was playing a little bit, but he still, he just wasn't himself. Um, and they were both just out for the count all day. So that was fantastic. Um, Cameron was sick and sleeping all day long. I was in the worst pain ever. Like I actually thought about going into labor and delivery on Wednesday because I was just having the worst pains. And I was kind of, I called my doctor and I was like, hey, like I'm having like these pains. Like, do you think I should go in? Or do you think I should wait until Thursday because I had a 9 o'clock appointment the next day? And I really don't want to go to labor and delivery just to be, like, told, like, it's nothing and then come back the next day for my appointment. So, so I kind of just, like, sat on the couch and worked from, like, the couch because I could barely move. Landon was having a horrible time napping and it was just, like, trying to take care of Landon. Cameron wasn't helping because he was so sick. And it was just like, I felt awful. I was having the worst pains in my stomach. I was like having contractions. <gasps> what? Oh, was it stuck? It was stuck. Um, so, yeah. The Wednesday was just horrible. Uh, by the time I went to like going to bed, I had like the worst, worst, worst migraine. And I was having the worst pains. Landon ended up sleeping with us because he just would not go in his own bed. He was just crying and he just was just not happy. Like he just wanted to hold me the whole time. So I was just like in pain, not sleeping. Landon wasn't sleeping. Cameron was just zonked out. So that was fantastic. Um, and then uh, Thursday I went to my appointment at 9 o'clock and I told them like, Cameron actually was feeling a little bit better th Friday. Oh. Karen woke up feeling a little bit better Thursday, but he still just had a really bad migraine, but he wasn't, like, getting sick or anything. Um, so, he, uh, he stayed with, like, Landon. He stayed with Landon. I went to my appointment. And, you know, it was just a regular, my 28-week checkup. Um, everything was measuring out perfectly. Baby's measuring perfectly. I got my Tdap shop. Um, and then I was, like, just talking to my doctor about, like, all the pain I was experiencing. And then they did my blood pressure. And my blood pressure was 146 over 89. And they were like, whoa. Like, whoa, wait a minute. No, 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 no. So they took some blood work. They took a urine sample. They sent me upstairs. I got monitored um, for my blood pressure. And then the baby. And baby is super, super healthy. Like, baby is very, very healthy. Um, he is looking beautiful. He's growing beautifully. He's kicking like crazy. Um, nothing's wrong with the baby, but me, um, I had protein in my urine again, which I had protein in my urine with Landon and that's why I ended up having preeclampsia and giving birth at 37 weeks and three days. Um, so my blood work all came back. I'm severely anemic. 
my preeclampsia is back. Um, I had to actually do, oh, one second, please. Hello. All right, well, that's part of my story. Um, so, um, my blood pressure was actually kind of normal, like was back to normal once I was upstairs. And obviously they say like sometimes your blood pressure like up there is just a lot easier because you're hearing your baby's heartbeat, you're sitting on a couch, you're relaxing, like, you know, like you're not talking, you're not waiting in the waiting room or anything. So my blood pressure was like fine, so they weren't too concerned about that, but um, I was still having like the severe pain in my, under my right rib. Um, and I guess that's your gastro, ouch, gastro something. Um, so they sent me to triage. Um, and while I was in triage, I was there for three hours, like three hours at triage. And basically they end up taking, uh, my blood pressures again. And then they sent me down to ultrasound. Um, they wanted me to do a CT scan, but since I'm pregnant, they just did the ultrasound instead. And they checked out, like, my liver. And I actually have, I don't know how to say it, a hemophagus. I have a lump in my liver. So, um, they are not, they think it's benign. Benign, I think that's what you, how you say it. Um, but they're not sure. Um, so, I have, my liver is, like, enlarged and... They think that could be causing it. Um, they are not completely sure, but that's actually who just called me because I have to go in on Monday at 7.30 to see a specialist to see what's going on with my liver. Um, you okay? Because something, because this can be something that can cause harm to me and to baby, um, but mainly me. Um, so it's not what I expected to hear at all um and I also have a bruised rib and a blood clot so the bruised rib is just from baby kicking like crazy in that one area and he just kind of like bruised my floating rib so my floating rib is bruised and I have a blood clot from like the way he's like kicking in that one area constantly I formed a little blood clot which they're not too concerned because of how small it is um, but I do have that over there as well so um Yesterday was just exhausting. Um, I've been having like really bad migraines too. So they like prescribe me medicines for my migraines and stuff. And hopefully that will help. Um, unfortunately, that's just something that's going along with preeclampsia, I assume. So I've always suffered migraines. Um, and they want me to see a neurologist. Um, and they actually mentioned me getting Botox um, in my temples. And I knew that that was a thing because I've actually looked into it. Um... But I didn't know you can actually do that while pregnant. And I guess the neurologist actually will do it to pregnant women who have severe chronic migraines, which I have severe chronic migraines. Um, so that's something that we talked about too. And unfortunately, like with my pregnancy and the preeclampsia, I've noticed my migraines are just worse. So it's just, it's just been crazy. It's just a little scary to be told that you have a lump in your liver. Um, because, I mean, they think it's benign. They're assuming that it's benign. I think that's how you say it. But um, they don't know until they see more. Um, so it's kind of scary uh, to think about. Um, I am actually 29 weeks today. So we're getting closer to the due date. Um, they did want to put me on bed rest. I was like, I can't be put on bed rest. Like, I have an 18-month-old. I have to work. Like, I can't be put on bed rest. So they told me just to kind of relax for the next couple days until we kind of figure out what our next step is. But they did mention also more than likely having an earlier birth just because of the preeclampsia. Um, but I'm going to be getting monitored weekly now. So we'll see how everything goes. I'm actually about to go back to the hospital today because I had to do a 24-hour urine test. Um, so pretty much like just collecting my pee for 24 hours, um, just for my, I actually did at the beginning of my pregnancy and then I did it yesterday, but now they want my 24 hour to see where my baseline is again. And they said, I'm probably going to have to do it again at some point. Um, but it's just kind of to see how much protein I'm collecting in my urine. And if I get too much protein in my urine, then that can determine if I have to have him earlier 
or anything like that. So I'm kind of freaking out just a little bit, but I'm trying to be really calm because, I mean, I can't stress out too much because, you know, it's in God's hands. Um, everything happens for a reason. It's just crazy because like, I knew something was wrong, um, but I didn't expect something to be wrong with me. I thought it was something with my, my pregnancy or like maybe something with like the babies like hurting me or something, but I didn't expect them to say something about my liver, like my liver, like, it's just, um, I didn't expect something to be wrong with my liver because I mean like you, I, I consider myself pretty, pretty healthy. Like, I mean, yeah, I eat junk food sometimes, but like I'm pretty healthy and I like to consider myself as healthy. Oops. But to be told like my liver, I'm just like, I'm hoping that when I go in on Monday, they say it's nothing and we're all set and something I could deal with after birth and hopefully it doesn't affect me giving birth sooner or anything like that. Um, I'm just like a little worried, but I have to go get ready, drop off this urine, and I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx just to kind of get my mind off of everything. I'm gonna do that, I just wanted to hop on here and kind of let you guys know what's going on because I can't tell you how many people have been DMing me and saying like they're praying for me and they're thinking of me and they're like wishing like me luck and stuff because I did post I was in the hospital yesterday. I just wanted to give people like an update but to be honest with you I'm so thankful. Um, I'm blessed but uh, it's um it's crazy like I can't I I'm just hoping everything is good but I feel blessed that I have like everyone reaching out to me because um, it means a lot and it just shows that people are thinking about me um but yeah i'm gonna get ready um take a little like breather i have to like wash my face and like do something with his hair um I'm, i've been wearing a ponytail for the past like four days and i'm probably gonna put another ponytail in my hair today so yay 